Welcome to Bruin and Review, man. When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Bruin and View. Oh, wait! What we got there, David? just going, bud? New Belgium's, uh, I mean, their flagship beer. This is Voodoo Ranger. Uh, they probably sell about 90 billion bottles of this every year. Uh, this is 7% oh alcohol. It's an IPA. And uh, this baby was, uh, they tell us to enjoy this by the 10th of January. So when we're drinking this, it's uh, about <laughs> two weeks away from that. So good thing we're <laughs> Bro, did your whole fucking system just do a complete restart? I did a reboot, dude. I'm like a Westworld character. Um, it's just such a good beer. You know what I actually oddly remember? It's like maybe my favorite. It's such a good IPA, it's so easy. I have a really negative memory of you and Welby on uh, Slack. Talking mad stuff about you and I was thinking the whole time like, bro, it's like one of my favorite beers. Oh, I and like I Voodoo Ranger. I think so mad at you guys sitting there <laughs> roasting this, and it's, so I just didn't comment because you guys yeah. are like a little pretentious about beers. I'm like, <laughs> I like this beer and this beer is great, and I was so pissed. This is literally like my favorite. I and it's like mainly memories. Yeah, me and my. Uh, favorite college roommate, Austin mm -hmm. Blaney. Okay. This was our beer to get. So I have like strong attachment to this. I was a little worried about getting this. Uh, I didn't bring this up yet, but a little worried about getting this variety pack because of how much smack you talk. <laughs> On the Slack, you and Welby. Well, what? I, it wasn't really Welby. It was more you just being like, Voodoo me. It's just one of those beers that like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like yeah. you were being one of yeah. those beer guys. I, I don't know, man. I'm just like not that into it. You Can I say one thing though? I have a really good memory of this beer because you and I did uh, the MLS All Star game. Oh yeah! And did a whole like fun day of filming, and we drank a bunch of these. I so I, I actually have a really good memory of this beer. Do you like it now? Can I have I converted you? Is this the Burger can King of beer? Can I give you? Well, I, that's a really good reference. <laughs> I, can I give you an actual synopsis of this though? Yes, please. People sell this beer at events for too much money. I like Voodoo Ranger. I don't like when you go to an event and they go nine bucks. You should have said that in Slack. Because <laughs> that's not what you said. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I... <coughs> what? <laughs> then why are you looking at me? Over dry. That's the way I, uh, Bro, I try to get I away from me being roasted. I literally thought she was about to burst through a wall, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Huh? <laughs> 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 Uh, so anyways. long story short, New Belgium not as bad as I said. Burke and Gray, <laughs> Kylie, Kool-Aid man. Yeah, well, what are we, am I doing the what we're eating? Yeah, just here, just take this. All right, so this is gonna be another one of those like seven minute <laughs> intros. Be like, get to the food! This isn't a food show, it's a comedy show. <laughs> we are eating uh, Rose, how do you, do you say Rosati's? Rosati's, the Chicago Rosati's? company, yeah. Rosati's, yeah, because you can tell by the, they got the, uh, that's the Chicago flag right there. Yeah, dude. Rosati's thin crust pizza, this is their pepperoni. Uh, thin crust, authentic Chicago pizza. That's a lie. Authentic Chicago. Everyone knows that that's deep dish. We've talked about this before. Yeah, and people get mad at us. I don't think that there's a single person living outside the city limits of Chicago there who hears Chicago pizza and goes, oh, tavern style. You're talking about the ultra thin crust? <laughs> Nobody said that. Like, so, if you've lived here, you know that. You think people barely, from you think people from Pittsburgh are like, don't forget about the tavern style crossing. And and dude, the funny thing is, like, even people who've lived here barely, like, I barely know about it, and I have a food review show. Yeah, you had to teach me about it. Um, I know. Well, you know what? And here's the thing: people that talk shit about that, like. Oh, I, I, you know, I'm a born and true Chicagoan. Do you have 1,200 videos where you've made f uh, content for four years? Get in line, dunces. Oh, why'd you pour that for me? Now you gotta take two shots. All right. Wait. You know what's more Chicago than thin crust pizza is Jefferson's Malort. I was eyeing this piece. <laughs> oh, I, I want this one. Oh, that one looks good too. 
All right, Rosati's uh, Chicago uh, Tavern style base buy. <laughs> Cheers. <coughs> Trash. Go Bears. I actually think I just had a breakthrough mentally about Chicago style pizza. Can I tell it to you? Yes, yeah, please. Chicago style deep dish at least all has like its things <coughs> that differentiate it. Like Pequod's is different than Lou Malnati's. <coughs> Gino's is different than Lou Giordano's. Giordano. And then what's <coughs> Labriola is different. Like I think they all, Pequod. tavern style crust, this is all the same pizza. Yeah. Like the, the difference is so tiny. Is the difference only in the sauce then or what? That's, I, mean, like, I just mean like, I don't think there's a, <clears throat> because it's such less food, the difference seems so Minuscule. small. I just don't understand the appeal of this pizza. Like here, we've talked about this before. Tavern style pizza <coughs> in Chicago was created for like construction workers. They would come in on their lunch break and get annihilated. That's where it belongs. And they would put out a free pizza to sober those guys up to have the, enough wherewithal to order more beer. You know what? What? The Chicago Tavern style pizza Wikipedia page should literally just be the, what you- It's my clip. Oh, that clip. Thank you. That clip should be the Wikipedia Tavern style pizza page. Thank you. Is it based on any sort of fact or yes. research? Yeah, it is. If someone once told me that that's and what it is. you did personal research. You went out to six different places, tried these places, and formed a, a, a hypothesis. I'm drunk enough. I just need to keep eating for mass. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Before we go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down this Rosati's pizza pie, uh, <laughs> do a shot. Patreon shot. Patreon shot. Patreon shot. We love Patreon. Hey, listen up, folks. There's a secret between just us. Everybody else don't listen. We're drunk. All that shit we were talking about those people, it's true. You're the only people we love. Don't listen. Other people butt out of this conversation. This is for only paying folks only. Me and Sean love the hell out of you guys. We really do. Those other people, bunch of Frank them, all right? Bunch of dunces. Frank them, bro. All this free ass content. Just skating by. You guys are the only ones paying? All these other fucking poor ass losers, bro. Yeah, bro. Get a job. Anyways. Now, this is all a joke, but also. <laughs> Here's a shout out. Here's a shout out. Yeah. To two of the people who pass. Patreon shout out name number one, Mr. Sapan Patel. <laughs> Sapan uh, donates $10 a month, which gets you in the monthly hangouts, which we're starting up again for 2021. Uh, all the people that are 10 and up uh, every month get to get a private. We actually, we're doing like Zoom links now. So like we can all hang out and talk and I'm sure it's going to get wily. Because you know we're not exciting enough <laughs> just to talk we're to you guys. Probably gonna do Malort. I almost guarantee. There will 100% be a Malort. Um, so Sapan, thank you so much for donating. It means the world. Um, and now it's time for Patreon shout out name number two. And Patreon shout out number two goes to Mr. Ryan Buckman. <laughs> uh, Ryan, dude, ten bones? Yeah, dude. A month? That's dope. That's boss. We appreciate that. That's part of that same ten dollar tier. And you're getting all the early videos. We love you. I, I'll make love to he, you. Dude, I've seen him try to do it, and then fans are like, can you back off? <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash number six cheese. The only thing I can possibly say about this video is that there's no other video on the internet like this one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, thumbs up or thumbs down, Eric McCluskey. Drum roll, please. Thumbs up or thumbs down whether or not you like to enjoy, you think the Sixers should spend their money on the Rosati's thin crust pepperoni pizza. It's about six bucks. Did we look at it? Yeah, we looked at it. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow. Yeah. I thought you were going thumbs down. I just had so much fun talking <laughs> shrimp about Chicago. Yeah, that was fun. Well, just their food. I love this. It's city. funny because it's like our favorite. We, we're living the greatest place. We could both world. move home. I literally tell people this is the greatest city in the world. It's the greatest city on in the world. On repeat. Well, per. Per, per dollar. If you right, if you can't trash the city you live in, move. Yeah, dude, get a sense of humor. But mm -hmm. Chicago, your food is trash. But this is a good frozen pizza. It's really good. So yeah, there's I enjoyed that. it. I think this is for six bucks for this pizza. The amount of cheese they kind of sprinkled on, like it's a good. If you thin crust, also like there's people that are like, I won't eat thin crust. I want all the calories, bro. I'm telling you right now, if you think that way, you need to eat a thinner crust pizza. It is tasty. It's really good. And if any of the Rosatis are listening, and if they're, <laughs> I'm sure they're psyched. This age, the ages that, that are on the box, then uh, a congratulations on figuring out YouTube. I mm -hmm. like to say that to old people because it's <laughs> difficult. There's and, some younger people. And be, that, that from 1895, picture, you know. <laughs> And also keep in mind, Mr. and Mrs. Rosati, I'm super baked. Yeah, but it's legal. So you, if you're uh, offended, 
Just keep that in mind. I'm I'm out of my mind. Weed does. This do. is a comedy show, bro. You gotta stop taking any guilt. This is not a food show. It's the Catholic. Do you think that people that watch this show can taste the food? This is what I get so mad about. I say it all the time. Video starts at 712. It's 712. Do you taste anything? It's a comedy. You're watching a YouTube video. Oh my god. Make dude. your cell phone can take a video. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little mad. Dude, that was really funny the way you said bitch. A bitch. Um Rosati is very excited to hopefully do a sponsorship with you soon. If someone watched this video, there's no way we'd be hired for anything. <laughs> I think even pizza. We're relatable. I think pizza hates us. <laughs> We're relatable, guys. <laughs> guys, we'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Sure. I'll I can tell you're about to hit me, bro. I'm about to just run away. I can see him winding up. Did you see him? Mm-hmm.